Breaking my fucking nail and twisting my arm. That's that's what they like to do. End size again. That's what that's what you people are good for. That's what you people are good for. I see citizens. About we could. Guys, YV, YV is okay. She's she's good. Okay, she's with me. We're shooting again today. Our last shoot. Um, just trying to enjoy this beautiful day in Joburg. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's actually a really beautiful day. Wherever she is, she is gorgeous. She's chilling right at the other table with Toby. Just good energies around us as well. So just having a bit of a lunch. But yeah. I'll send, I'll send, I'll send my regards. We have a pool party like a res. <laughs> res pool parties. Damn. I never experienced any like res pool parties. Like, But I'm sure they go up. I'm sure it's, it, it, it gets hectic. Um, Juicy was glad to meet you at Propaganda yesterday. Thank you so much. Yeah, Propaganda was a jump yesterday. It was really nice. It was really nice. Um, what are you shooting? Guys, we're shooting, um, we are with um, SA Tourism. So we're shooting something for like a, a series, like a series thing uh, for, for YouTube. It's actually really nice. So once it's out, guys, just be on the lookout. It's going to be really dope. So it's going to be real nice. Love you from Namibia. Thank you so much. Dango. Oh, it's still a lot of happening this weekend. The Bulls are playing the um, the Lions at Emirates Airline Park. The Sharks are playing. Uh, the Storm is in Durban. Guys, I was supposed to be in Durban today. I was supposed to be in Durban today. I got an invitation from the Sharks because um, they had the, uh, a Sharks fest today. So I got an invitation from the Sharks to go um, with um, a plus one as well. But um, yeah, unfortunately, you couldn't make it to Durban today. This is going to be nice. The shot tag is going to be packed. So it'll be a nice game hosted by the Sharks. That was going to be really nice. Ah, looking forward to the next one. Are you going to Emirates match? Um, I wish. I wish at least I could have been able to go to watch the, the Lions and the Bulls at the Emirates Airline Park. But, um, Shoot, 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 shoot. Guys, let me go and join everyone else. I'll see you guys later.
Yvonne has, don't worry, Yvonne is perfectly fine, she's okay. She is fine. I'll send I'll send I'll send my love to her. The thing is obviously I don't I don't I don't, I don't think she'd want to be on a live and stuff like that, so I don't worry, she's good. We good. We are I shall Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see they heart. Of course you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze you do what? Well. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a far long thing? Kindly post right there, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking parts? Like how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So yeah guys, um, of course we all know how uh, we've been worried after Yvonne let us know that she was robbed yesterday night. You know, I saw that some persons were trying to, I know some persons, I actually saw a person, not if I say some persons, to be like a group of persons. I saw a person who was so dumb saying I was lying about Yvonne being robbed in South Africa. What will I gain with that? I am not, uh, when it comes to all of this, thing, I am not that stupid. Like, I know some people can be stupid, which is some fans. They can be so stupid that when you talk about their fave, it's giving another thing to them. Anyways, guys, for those who are quite sensible, because I know I have plenty sensible people here. So, guys, um, Juicy J came and then he said that um, Yvonne is actually fine, that they are rounding up their shooting. Remember, they were shooting yesterday. So, he said they were rounding up their shooting. People wanted to see Yvonne. If you checked the, ch um, the video, the thing that he did on tiktok so he was like they were like where is yvonne we want to see her. i want to see her he was like telling them that oh yvonne is inside with some persons blah 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 that she's very fine that she's very okay and thank god that is all the matters that they are fine now talking about being fine so today angel got all of us worried angel and suma is not giving our couples are having issues the same time we enjoy them the same time, enjoy them on Val's Day, enjoy them, you know, train off, train off, you know. And next thing, Yvonne got robbed. Today, Angel and Suma encounter with the police. They were kind of harassed. In fact, putting handcuffs on Angel, guys. Angel had to briefly go on live video. The fans were so worried. And like, we were wondering what is happening. And she had to go live so as to inform people so that people would see what is going on there. Of course, we all know how um, this country is right now. All these officials, they would tend to do things anyhow. You know, why put her cuff on her? What did she do? You actually hurt her. You, her nails is broken. Like, you know, when you fix, like when you manhandle somebody, you, you actually you might inflict injury on that person. So Angel was complaining bitterly and the fans were kind of worried. But the sweetest thing is that I think it's been resolved and they've headed back home, you know. This was people who were just enjoying themselves, who had their vacation which day and we were all gushing about that. And look at what is happening right now. So the fans are kind of worried. As you can see, Big Posh said God will punish them for trying to ruin their weekend. After all the fun that, ha that they had, nonsense. There were many, 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 many write-off from the Sumjel as the Akis and the Sumjel, you know. Um, then Sumja HQ said, please, you all be calm. Her lawyer has been reached and they are going to be taking things up from there. While we await their updates, I plead with you also ensure to not cause panic. Thank you, Sumja HQ. Meanwhile, talking about to read the lawyer, blah, blah, blah. The sweetest thing is that Angel and Suma have headed home. That They are fine. They are okay, guys. They are very okay. All right, um, guys, um, this person, Mandy, said something. And this is a particular thought everyone had about Angel. But before I read that of Mandy, let me read what Simply Omar wrote. I wasn't a believer of the Somjo sheep, but I am glad that Angel has someone that loves her loudly and proudly. I am extremely happy for her. May she forever glow. And then Mandy said something. Maybe Angel wasn't really for the streets. She just needed real love. So glad she found it in Soma. Glad he makes her happy. And the retired Somjelito said, She was never for the streets and I don't know how people couldn't see she's always been a softie with walls that had to be broken with. 
can you let someone take care of you for once yeah guys the thing is you know i told you guys that there's this perception that people have about angel right which i was not a, an exception then i keep telling you guys that oh see you me i'm not an exception i'm always like ah so man angel angel go pursue this boy you know that kind of a thing we all know how hard she can be on herself but of course we have seen this season that she's a different person entirely angel is a sweet girl like she's so free right now she at least she got to meet someone who care about her so we are fine with that right now so people are actually so surprised seeing angel and soma blossom to this stage so that's why they're actually confessing saying what they think about angel not until soma happened it may seem as though someone is actually impersonating Alex. She said, this phone number has been messaging people as Alex. Please beware, I have nothing to do with this. So guys, please beware of this particular number you are seeing on your screen right here. This person actually has Alex picture as his or her display picture. Or more people are trying, you know. Anyways, guys, let's move over the BB in Zanzi, the Siamashar house, guys. So um, earlier today, Big Brother actually Give the housemates punishment, yes. And I think they deserve it because they've been behaving different kind of way. In fact, they had a lot that this punishment is coming with. For whispering, no. For working so reluctantly while Biggie called them in the diary room, the head of house not making use of his chair regularly. In fact, guys, they are wahala too much. Biggie just listed everything, the reason why they had to be punished. So they had to be put to work. They cleaned Biggie's house today. All of them felt it today. I think they needed it. They needed it because time they used they needed to be doing something useful they will use it and be discussing about production according to big brother so guys here is the theory so lerato this is have been coming for lerato now what is the tea lerato was having this conversation with else and was telling else that hmm, that Liema is strong go if it was her that was told that her granny is late that she would have left she wouldn't have stayed back i was not laughing you know this thing i always say that he who wear the shoes know where he pinches that is just the fact because I could remember vividly Lerato, this same Lerato Modise told Big Brother in the diary room that she, the, her granny was to be buried the next day and she went for, for example, her gran, granny was supposed to be buried tomorrow and she left for Big Brother's house today. So why did she not reject the offer of going to Big Brother's house and then attend to her granny's burial? Now you see where life no balance. I keep telling you guys, we live in a world where care to call pot what black. Like everybody's easy in pointing fingers when you are not the one in the situation. You know, that is a perfect example of what Ketu calling pot black. All right, talking about Liema, guys. This Liema has been the only housemate in the Siambosha building that has been trending since the first week she got into the house. You know, the first time she trained at number five, the other time went at number seven or thereabout. Right now she is in number 11, Liema Pansy. What is that trying to tell you guys? Of course, she has been the topic in Biggie's house. Everybody, Liema, me, self, Liema, this, Liema, that. Almost all my video had to do with Liema because why? She is given the topic. Coming from Hills, Lerato literally missed her grandmother's burial just to attend the show. But she is here dragging someone else for not leaving the show as if she didn't know she could have stayed home too. Exactly. That's why I said we are all worth Ketsu calling Pot Black. All right, so I'm, eh, I'm going to need these two to start earning their place in the house. Do they even want to win the Aru 2 million or they just wanted to be on TV? Start playing the game. Anyways, when you say they should start playing the game, what do you mean? Like the people playing the game already because I see how everyone is calling Liema out because of course her game is actually funny. Me, if I do talk about it. So when you mean playing the game, do you think these people are really not playing the game? That is Mile and Chuenza. I would love to hear from you guys anyway. So guys... This is me trying to drop my voice right here to see you guys later. Thank you so much for always selling with me. To Angel fans, okay, if you've, if you've seen this video, just know that your faves are good. And to Yvonne stars, like Von stars, Von is, yeah, you guys should be just rest assured that um, Yvonne is also cool. You see, just said they are fine, all right? You guys should just relax and take a chill pill. I'll be back later. Bye for now, guys.